Welcome to Learn It, a series of digital scrapbooking tutorials by Wendy Design Scraps. Today we're going to look at the Spell It actions. The Spell It actions were designed to help you use individual letters from an alpha to make titles. Once you install the action and come over to the Actions panel, make sure you're in Expert mode if you're in Photoshop Elements, you'll be able to see all the different actions that are in the set. If you only see the folder, just make sure you click the little arrow to the left of it so you can see all of the actions. The first thing you need to do is count up how many letters are in your word. So we're going to start with a three letter word. We're just going to do ABC to make it simple. And we're going to press play. We'll get a little message here explaining the action. Just press continue. And then we can go ahead and select our first three letters. So I'm going to choose A. B and C. Now the action is going to pause to allow you to click, drag, and resize or rotate your letters into position where you want them. It doesn't have to be exact because you'll have another opportunity to resize them later, but you would like to kind of get them in relation to each other in the way you want them. So I'm going to put the A here, press enter. And for this particular demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and be a little creative. So I'm going to drag the B and rotate it a little bit and position it offset. And you can also use your arrow keys to bump it up and down if you can't get your mouse to put it right where you want it. And then press enter or click the green arrow in elements. And then the C I'm going to put up here. If you want, you can resize it by grabbing the handles as well. Or if you want them to all be in relation to each other the same size, don't resize them now, wait until it's all done, and then we can resize it together. And so what you'll see here is if I plop this C, let's just kind of tuck it up here, press OK. Now the action will let me move and resize them all together. So now if I want to make them tinier, they'll go tiny all at the same size in relation to each other. So put it where I want it and press Enter or click the green arrow. When you're done with the action, all the layers on the action panel that are in that word will be linked together or locked together. So you can just select one of them and drag, and it's going to move all of them together. If you want to move one of the letters separately, all you have to do is select them all by clicking the first one and holding shift and clicking the last one, and then right clicking and choosing unlink layers. Now, if I want to move that say move that letter C, I can grab it individually and move it. So let's take one more look at using multiple alphas in the same one. And I'll also show you how to drag a guide rule to align them as you're working on it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those in place and just press play to get a five letter version. So we'll press continue. I'm going to come out of alphas 2 and go into alphas 1. And let's go get an uppercase A. And then if we wanted, we could go out and go back into alpha 2 so you can use different alphas to mix and match. And let's say we just wanted a number 1. And then let's go back to alphas 1 and let's get a blank. So you can use any combination of letters and numbers. And if you really wanted to use elements this way, you could even throw an element in there as well. So let's just go ahead and choose a fifth letter. OK, so now we're prompted to start moving these. So I'm going to drag this one over here out of the way and press Enter. Before I drag the second letter, I'm going to grab a ruler from a guide from my ruler and drag it down so it aligns with that letter A. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the second letter and line it up there with that. And press enter. And then I can grab the next one and line it up and press enter. And put that one there. And then it selects them all again and we can we can resize it, and we can rotate it, and we can position it wherever we want to. 
And now they're locked, but if I want to unlock them, I can select them on the Layers panel, unlink them right here, and then, for example, I may want to not use those letters and tuck this one over and I can do whatever I want with them. So that is how the spell it actions work. If you're in Photoshop Elements and you don't see your ruler bar up here, you can show that by going to View Rulers. You can toggle that on and off. And if you want to clear your rulers, you can just click it and drag it off, or you can go to View Clear Guides. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. <music>